Hey, what's up you guys? So today I'm going to be getting a couple of my dolls ready and myself ready for St. Patrick's Day. I wore my most St. Patrick's day -y shirt to go with it. <laughs> All right, so I have three dolls that we're gonna do. And the first one's gonna be Mary Ellen. I tried Googling which American girls are Irish because I know Nellie is like, obviously, but like I, thought more of them were and I had suspicions that Mary Ellen was because she has red hair that's like an Irish thing so I had suspicions that she was but I tried like looking it up and I couldn't really find anything and then I found out that Larkin is an Irish last name so I was like okay we're just gonna assume She's Irish for the purpose of this video. We got some gold pants. My main colors for today's video are green and gold. I know orange is like also sometimes considered one of the Irish colors or St. Patrick's Day colors. And I think it's cause it's in their flag or something or something to do with the history of St. Patrick's Day, but I'm not doing orange. I feel like it like clashes. Okay, got some gold pants, snazzy. I have this shamrock clover skirt. I think this is from Etsy from like many, many years ago. My mom bought this for me. Cute. Okay, last we have this like top that like buttons and there's like flowy pieces I don't know all right so this is what we got so far nice and then I have gold shoes which I think also came with this top and this skirt from Etsy and now I'm just gonna brush her hair and she will be all set finishing touches I made three St. Patrick's Day themed bracelets and a couple of these sets are going to be up on my Etsy if you want to buy them. A link in my description. And each one of them is going to get to wear one of these. Since she is wearing gold, I'm going to give her the gold bracelet. So she's done. Here's her finished look very cute all right next we're gonna do my truly me i think she's 18 or 19 i'm never good at the numbers but i named her alex and i really wanted her because her eyes are like really green and i decided for the purpose of this video she looks like she could potentially be irish so that's why i picked her too all right so for her i have the irish traveler outfit because like that's perfect so she's gonna wear that this is actually one of my favorite outfits from ag tights and skirts so far all right we just need shoes and then i'm gonna brush her hair and then put her hat on ta-da number two and she's going to get the dark green bracelet because her sweater is dark green cute number two done i figured we would save the best for last the well-known irish doll nelly o'malley her hair is so out of control so she's going to be wearing her irish outfit because i felt like that was so fitting one of like the most annoying things i feel like is trying to put doll shoes over socks Cause I feel like they just get all like bunched up and they don't fit good. <laughs> Someone needs to make a life hack on how to put doll shoes on better with socks. I feel like there has to be like a trick to it or something. All right, one shoe down, another shoe to go. I have bird feeders on my windows and all my birds are coming to get food. So we're gonna have a snowstorm tonight, which is like our first real snowstorm all winter. It's like I live in New York. 
Where has the snow been? Literally. Okay. We got the shoes, thank goodness, tied in the back. That's what Google said. <laughs> and I have her little, I don't know what to call this, your headband. Ta-da! And she gets this one because she is from Ireland, so she gets the Irish flag one. I don't know if that's my logic. Okay. So I got all my dolls ready. So now I'm gonna get myself ready with the bonus of the human size one of these. Like how cute is that? All right, so for my makeup, I'm gonna go for green and gold cause that's kind of been our theme this whole time. So I'm gonna start off with a primer. My nails are kind of St. Patrick's Day E2. They're chipping cause I did them like a week ago, but in the spirit of St. Patrick's Day. And then I'm gonna take some foundation slash concealer. I don't do a ton of this cause my skin tone's fairly even and put it under my eyes cause I look tired as heck. And then I have some spots up here. I do it on my nose cause my nose gets red. A little bit on my cheeks. And now I'm just gonna blend this all in. Okay, that should be good. I'm gonna set my under eyes with some powder. And then set my whole face with some more powder. Since I'm doing green and gold, I'm going to take an orangish colored blush right here because I feel like it'll like complement it nicely and put some orange blush on or peachy toned whatever I haven't done peachy toned blush in a while because I feel like it's more of a summer color I've been doing a lot more just pinks but I like the peachy and blend it with my powder brush and then I'm just going to take a highlighter. Any highlighter is fine. Do my cheekbones. Tip of my nose a little bit. And my cupid's bow. Next, I'm going to do my eyebrows. I like to just brush them out first so I can get the shape that I want. And then just fill them in with a little bit of pencil. I have to be careful and keep them pretty light, otherwise it'll look a little bit weird with my blonde hair. My hair is naturally brown, so I've got to try to keep the eyebrows light. <laughs> and then taking some brow gel to set them in place. This is the fun part, in my opinion. I'm gonna take some eye primer. I'm like almost out, so it's really hard to get out. Prime the eyes. I'm doing green and gold. So I have this palette, which is just a lot of golds. So I'm gonna start with that. I'm gonna take a fluffy blending brush and I'm gonna take this shade right here. Very warm toned brown and put that in my crease and my outer corner. It's like almost a mustard, but it'll look good with the gold. And then under my lash line. So this is what we're aiming for. And then on the other side. Okay, so Got our brown going. And then I'm gonna take this gold right here. It's called golden. And put that all over my lid with my finger. And 
Yeah, this is like a really good gold. This is gonna be kind of a tricky part. So I have a color corrector. This is a green color corrector. And I wanna make sure that the highlighter that I use on my inner corners pops green. It's a green tinted highlighter, but I wanna make sure you know it's green. So I'm gonna put some of this in my inner corners as like a base so that hopefully you can tell my inner corner is green. I'm gonna use a tiny brush to take some of that product, just like the tiniest bit, and put it on there. So now you can see the greenness through the highlighter, hopefully. That's the goal. Okay, that's what we're looking like so far. If this works, then this was a really good idea. I was like, I feel like this, like, smart. So I have this highlighter palette and in it, it has a green highlighter, this one right here. So I'm going to take some of that on a small brush and put it over the green that I put in my inner corners already and hope that it looks cool. and then try to like blend it into the gold a little bit. I think it worked. Look at that, that's cool. Needs like a little bit more blending, but that looks cool. Okay, so we got the green and then I'm gonna do green eyeliner and mine is from ColourPop and put this on my waterline. So we got green eyeliner, great. And then I'm gonna do my lashes. So I'm gonna curl them first. Oh, I forgot to do brow bone highlight. I'll do that in a second. Mascara. Second coat of mascara. Bottom lashes. Go back in with a highlighter really quick. Do a brow bone highlight. Okay, so this is what my eyes are looking like so far. And now we're gonna do lips. So since it's like green and gold, I have this little pot of like goldish lip color. So I'm gonna put that on. So that's what we got. And then I'm gonna finish with some setting spray. I'm gonna try to like cover this. <laughs> All right, and I think that completes the look. We have this outfit, cute. We got this one, figured out how to tie her shoes. And we got this one. And now, I have St. Patrick's Day makeup and my St. Patrick's Day shirt. Happy St. Patrick's Day. If you enjoyed this video, please leave me a thumbs up. Also, reminder, if you want to buy the set of bracelets, link in my description to my Etsy. Also, make sure you subscribe so you don't miss another video from me. And I will see you guys in my next video. Bye!